today's video, you will learn everything you need to know about a single crochet, the anatomy, the abbreviation, and the universal stitch symbol. You can either screenshot this or you can find a free printable PDF in the description box along with step-by-step -step photos. To begin practicing your single crochet, you will start off with a slip knot. We are going to make a foundation chain. Just like I mentioned in the last video, our foundation chain will be how we build our projects. So to begin, you will make a foundation chain of 10. Now we will count our stitches by either counting the V's or the back humps, as I mentioned in the last video. And we will be crocheting into the back humps, just like I mentioned in lesson four. So last week I mentioned each basic crochet stitch will get taller and taller in height. A single crochet equals one chain stitch in stitch height. So we will chain another chain, and that will count as our turning chain, and this will compensate for the height of our single crochet. We will need to skip that first chain stitch that we just made so that our piece doesn't curl up upon itself. To make a single crochet, you will insert your hook from front to back into our second chain from our hook. You will have two loops on your hook. Yarn over and draw through one loop only. Now you have two loops on your hook. You will yarn over and draw through both of those loops. So you can see that our turning chain and our single crochet stitch are the same height. You're just gonna repeat that process. Insert your hook from front to back into the next stitch. Yarn over, draw through one loop only. Now you'll have two loops on your hook. Yarn over, draw through both loops. So just continue repeating this process to the end of the chain. Insert your hook into the next stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Now you will yarn over and draw through both loops. And just like I mentioned in lesson four, make sure that you are not twisting your chain and that you are being consistent with where you insert your hook along the chain stitches. Now let's talk about what your single crochet should look like so you can know how to count your stitches and your rows. So the tops of your single crochet should still have that V appearance and each V does equal one single crochet stitch. You will be inserting your hook under both loops of your V's as you move on from here on out. The fronts of your single crochet should have these two vertical bars that you see here. And to start a new row of single crochet, we are going to chain one to compensate for the stitch height. Again, this is just our turning chain, so it does not curl up. So chain one and turn. Now we will work across the top of our previous row. The backs of our single crochet has this horizontal bar just below the V's. So look for the V. And then right under the V, look for a hole. 
That hole should be right next to that horizontal bar I showed you. So ignore your turning chain and the loop that's on your hook. You're going to insert your hook under that V from front to back. Now you're going to yarn over and draw through the V only. You should have two loops on your hook. Yarn over and draw through both of those loops. Insert your hook under the next V from front to back. Yarn over, draw through the V only. Yarn over, draw through both loops on your hook. And you're just going to continue repeating this process. Insert your hook under the V. Yarn over, draw through only the V. Yarn over, draw through both loops on your hook. So just continue practicing your single crochet all the way across and I'll meet you at the end. So if you look at the top of your piece again there should be V's at the top and every V counts as a stitch and you definitely need to stop and make sure you still have 10 stitches. That turning chain does not count as a stitch. It's very easy as a beginner to increase or decrease, so make sure you count after every row. So keep repeating the last row over and over until you've made at least 10 rows. I feel like this will help you get a good feel for how it should look. And don't forget to count your stitches at the end of every row. If your piece is fanning outwards, that means you have too many stitches and you're most likely increasing on the outside. If your piece starts shaping inwardly, you have too few stitches and you've probably decreased somewhere. And the reason that I wanted you to know what the fronts and the backs of your stitches look like is because it's very hard to see how many rows that you have. So if you know what the fronts and the backs of your stitches look like, it's a whole lot easier to count how many rows that you have. So keep practicing your rows of single crochet over and over until you feel comfortable with them and then you will be ready to move on to the next lesson. Stay tuned for lesson six, where I teach you how to half double crochet. I hope that you enjoyed this lesson today. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching.